This is, this is the game changer, people. This is the game changer. One of the things I know you've all been waiting for. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman, back with another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And today we're going to be looking at a test branch of the brand new update that's coming out probably by the time you've seen this video. Uh, so everything that you're going to see is subject to change. Hopefully I'll be able to figure out what the new uh, the new differences are in the game. I mean, I haven't really I haven't really played it that much, so it might be a little bit hard for me to notice, but we're going to give it a try. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, guys, we are in the new test branch, and the first thing I noticed is look at down at my hotbar down at the bottom of the screen there. There's three little dots to the left. So I've read that if you press Alt plus Q, check this out. We actually have three different hotbars. Let's go ahead and test this out here with uh, putting some things. We'll put a bunch of seats on this. Oh, uh, put a bunch of seats on this one. Can we switch it? Oh, yeah, we can switch it while we have the menu open. We can put, uh, put a bunch of blocks on this one. Now we have three different hotbars, which I know a lot of people have been requesting, so that's really cool if they've added that into the game. Alright, what else can we find in here? Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. This right here. This right here. This is- this is the game changer, people. This is the game changer. One of the things I know you've all been waiting for. The mug. I mean, just think of- Think of all the possibilities as this opens right here. Think of all the fun you could have with it. Wait a minute, can I? So yeah, they added a mug to a game, and uh, and you can paint it and stuff too. So I mean, I I think I made a little bit of a bigger deal out of it than uh, it really is. I just thought that'd be kind of fun, but you know, it's it's not re it's not really that big of a deal. Wait a minute. Used for maximum relaxation. Sit down and relax, or add it to your vehicle to stay nice and clean. And be connected to triggers, which can activate other interactive. <gasps> Oh. My. God. Okay, yeah, so the tub is actually pretty cool. I did not expect it to actually be a, a seat, basically, <laughs> that you can sit in and control stuff from. So yeah, the mug and the tub are some new block additions, but you may have noticed things might have looked a little bit different as I was flying around in my flyer and, uh, and in the vehicles as well. They actually added a follow camera. So what that means is when you are flying or driving something from a seat, when you turn the vehicle, 
the camera turns with you rather than staying in the same spot. And if you want to change it back to the way it was before, oh, let me level off here first. If you want to change it back to the way that it was before, then you just go into your options, your display settings, and you can go and change this to free camera. Then you go back into this mode in which you see when I turn the vehicle, my camera just stays in one spot. Now I can just keep both my hands on the keyboards and I'll always see where I'm going. And if for whatever reason I need to get another view, I can just do what I normally did and uh, move the mouse around whatever way I want. But the cool thing is, is that you can actually just lock the mouse into whatever position you want to, because even in the free cam mode, if I grab the mouse, uh, or even in the follow cam mode rather, if I grab the mouse, as you can see, I still have an element of freedom where I can move it however I want. Oh boy. Oh boy. Trying to recover here. So... One of the major benefits that I'm finding with the follow cam is you have the ability to really give people the perspectives that you want with your builds. You know, it's not just about having somebody get into a seat and not really know which direction they're going to be looking or anything like that. Now people can get into a seat and they can see exactly what you want them to see. Yeah, so, uh... That's a thing now. And the other new thing that you might notice is these thrusters look a little bit different. Take a look at them. They have a much more detailed and cool looking, in my opinion, fire or flame that comes out from underneath them. Like, look when you just blast them like that. Look at that. Oh, that looks so cool. And apparently they also have an interaction with the ground, with the dust, that they've also either added or improved. I don't know if it was there before, so let's see what happens if we get a little bit closer to the ground here. Let's watch the ground and see if our dust- oh yeah, there we go, look at that. Whoop. So yeah, check out the dust here. Oh, that looks so cool. This is a really fancy aesthetic addition that I think adds a lot to the game despite being purely aesthetic. So they changed the picture over there uh, on the right side, the description, but they haven't changed the actual icon yet. So I wonder when they're gonna do that. Or have they? Because now that I look at it, the icon here looks like it's just a closed thruster because I think, here, let me test this out. I think the thrusters actually, do they open up? Here, let's hook up a switch and we're gonna see how it behaves. So when we press it, Oh, you can see it, it wobbles a little bit. But it doesn't actually open and close. So yeah, this is what the new thruster looks like. I think it looks really cool. This painting, it probably won't change the flame. Nope, all right. So this is the new, one of the new additions to the game as well. Let me know what you guys think about that one. That's one of my favorite ones there. All right, guys, well, that is the update. So to sum up, we've got the mug, we've got the bathtub, and I've just confirmed that you can attach things to the sides of the bath bathtub. They're not just like a, a, a solid unit that is standalone. You can actually put things on it. We've got the mugs, we've got the thrusters that also interact with the ground. And they've also, one thing I can't really test that much in this is apparently they also optimize um, when you're placing blocks and painting on really, really big big uh, builds that used to lag the game really, really bad. Apparently they've added some optimizations to that as well. Oh, and of course, we cannot forget the very, very useful alternate hop bars. So that is also something that is going to be really useful in future um, build-offs and things like that. 
So I want you to leave me leave a, leave me a comment down below, letting me know which one of these is your favorite. Me personally, I think I'm gonna have to go with the follow cam and the thrusters are my favorite parts of this. Uh, and, and the bathtub is pretty cool. I mean, all of it's really awesome. I just want to know wh which one are you looking uh, most forward to using in your building. So thanks again for watching. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time.